Welcome back to 7 News at 6. We're hearing from some volleyball players at Limestone College who took time to volunteer this week and ended up helping to save a woman's life because of it. What a story. 7 News reporter Scotty Kay standing by live at the college to talk about exactly what happened, how the players made a big impact on that community, and they already set out to do just that, Scotty. That's right, Gordon. Usually on Mondays, you'd find Limestone College volleyball players headed to class or lifting weights. But this past Monday, in memory of Martin Luther King Jr., they decided to help out the community. They came upon something they never expected, but they say they're grateful they were able to help, saying it's an experience they'll never forget. We went up to her door, and the directions on the paper said to, that the door would be unlocked and we could just go in and set the food on the kitchen table. But when we went to go in the house, the door was locked, so we were knocking. Abby Baker and her teammates were spending a day off from class, volunteering in their community. They were running a delivery route for Meals on Wheels in Cherokee County when they got to a house with no answer at the door. We looked through the window, and she was on the ground and couldn't get the door unlocked. The woman's blood sugar had skyrocketed, and she couldn't move or communicate. Instead of panicking, the volleyball players did exactly what they were supposed to do. They called me and they said, we, we have a situation that's strange. Jennifer Robbins with Meals on Wheels had the woman's emergency contact information and immediately called her family. A family member quickly arrived at the woman's home and she was taken to the hospital. Robin says she's grateful for the quick thinking of the volleyball players who potentially helped save the woman's life. The players believe there was some divine intervention, putting them in the right place at the right time, saying this was the first time in years that Limestone didn't have class on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and Meals on Wheels wasn't planning on delivering meals on the holiday until Limestone offered to help. If she had not been found for several hours, it could have gotten worse. And that lady, she could have passed away, so I definitely believe that it was... Uh, God's plan for us to be there. Robin said while the organization's goal is to feed their clients, another important part of the job is checking to make sure they're okay. And this was a prime example of why their job is so important. It's more than a meal because we see so many people who may not see anyone but their driver. You know, we, we don't know sometimes what we're going to see. And even though the incident was a little scary, the volleyball players say they're going to be doing some more volunteering in the near future because of it. We can see the impact that we had because of volunteering. Now the woman in this incident is back home and doing okay. She and her family want to give a big thank you to Meals on Wheels and especially those volleyball players who helped save her life. Live at Limestone College tonight, Scotty K, 7 News.